All right, everybody, we've got defenses, we've got wide receivers, we've got running backs, all must-start videos that are out now. Make sure you guys go check that out. This video here, we are going to be talking about tight ends for week one. Especially with the Kelsey injury, there are a bunch of teams out there that do need to pick up a tight end for week one. So let's go over some tight ends that I do like for week one that you can plug and play there. But before you get into it, guys, do me a quick favor there. Smash that like, smash that subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you enjoy this video. But let's get right to it. Eller Higby of the Rams is going to be one guy I really do like this week, especially with Cooper Cup most likely being out. Um, I do expect the Rams to be down, so they may have to be throwing the football. And without Cooper Cup, Higby could be a guy that gets a ton of targets in week one. Green Bay Packers tight end Luke Musgrave is going to be another tight end that I do like for this week. Seems like he was coming along in camp. Yes, he is a rookie, but he is the starting tight end. Moving over to the Chargers, we'll talk about Gerald Everett. It's going to be a possible high scoring game against the Miami Dolphins. Gerald Everett is a good tight end that you can stream this week if you've got injuries and you need to fill the spot. Denver Broncos, no Jerry Judy. We talked about Sutton and Mims in the wide receiver video. How about Dolchich? Possible good tight end to play week one with no Jerry Judy. Give me some of Dolchich who can possibly do some work in this first game of the season. Moving over to the Saints, you've got Jawan Johnson. Michael Thomas is back, but who knows what that's going to entail. You've got Chris Olave, new quarterback Derek Carr. It seems like Carr and Jawan Johnson do have a good connection already, according to reports from camp in the preseason. Juwan Johnson was a sneaky tight end even last year. So I do like Johnson here um, in week one if you need a tight end. Dalton Schultz of the Texans, we know that they may be down in this game against the Baltimore Ravens. So give me some of Schultz who could be a good target this week. In a game they might have to pass a lot to play catch up, I do like Dalton Schultz as a sneaky guy you can plug in and play there for week one. Sam Laporta of the Detroit Lions. We've heard a lot of good things coming out of camp and preseason so far on Laporta. He is the number one tight end there on a great offense. It's a good matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs, which could be a high scoring game there. Feel confident in playing Sam Laporta in week one, even though he's a rookie. I know it's scary, but he has a good matchup. And if you got injuries, we might need to take advantage of that. Over to the Bengals against the Cleveland Browns. And you've got Irv Smith, who is just a really, really sneaky guy. I'm a Minnesota fan. He started on Minnesota. I really loved Irv Smith, but he was never able to stay healthy. Now he goes over to a Bengals offense, one of the most high-powered offenses in the league. So I do think there's a possibility that Irv Smith gives you a pretty good game in week one. And the last guy we're going to talk about is the straight backup to Travis Kelsey, which is Noah Gray. A guy that's been on the field with Kelsey plenty of times. I mean, Mahomes has been throwing him the ball. Finished with 28 catches last year, obviously sitting behind Travis Kelsey. But he's a 6'3", 240. But Noah Gray can catch the football. He is a very good pass catcher. Well, I'm even okay with going with Noah Gray, the backup tight end for Travis Kelsey, if you really are in a pinch and you don't believe in any of these other guys that are on the waiver wire. Just to wrap it up for this video on the tight ends that you can start in week one, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about some of these tight ends we talked about here, or maybe I missed some. You guys let me know what you think would be a good starting tight end for week one if you are in a pinch. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Do me a quick favor there. Smash that like, smash that subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed this video. Again, we are live about four times a week, nightly at 10 Eastern time. So come through if you're free. Other than that, we'll see you all in the next one.